What is up, everybody? Hunter and Chris with Lost Socket Garage. Today, we are going to be taking a tour of our $18,000 Fastback and do a little bit of cost analysis on whether it makes more sense for you to go out and find a Fastback or to do a coupe to Fastback conversion. Stay tuned. For many, the 60s and 70s is viewed as the pinnacle in American automotive production, giving us some of the most iconic cars in history. The 80s, not so much. What the 80s did give us is two guys with a passion for bringing these classics back to life. Their goal is to educate, motivate, and most importantly, make the mistakes so you don't have to. <coughs> Mother. Welcome to Lost Socket Garage. All right. Uh, so today we are going to be taking a look at... Uh, one of the fastbacks, one of the actual fastbacks we have here at the shop. Um, a customer purchased this for eighteen thousand dollars. Eighteen thousand dollars. Now we have a lot of uh, people in the comments that uh, you know have questions on coupe fastback conversions and holding their value, etc. Um, this video, we kind of wanted to reach out to our audience. We actually had a friend of uh, the shop do a video that's very, very similar to this, but he goes into much more. Uh, financial breakdown of actually doing a coupe to fastback conversion but we wanted to do kind of our own little spin on it and actually show you what these fastbacks uh, cost and what condition they come in um, when you're buying them for you know eighteen to twenty thousand dollars so let's dive right into it let's take a little look at this boy so this is like we said this is a customer of ours they spent about eighteen thousand dollars for it and looking at it from this angle you'd be like oh that doesn't look too bad We've had it media blasted. It came with a set of doors and fenders, but they were so rotted there was no way we were going to be able to replace them without significant time in labor. So we decided to go the different route and get new doors and new new fenders. But this is what we got back from the, the sand blasters. It's we were surprised we got anything back to be honest. It's rough. A oh, rough, just the way your mother likes it, Trevor. So you can see all the mud. We don't know when these repairs were made. Uh, we do know that the roof was taken off that side of the quarter panel because th they riveted it back together. I don't know if they actually welded it or if they just riveted it. We'll find out when we start tearing it apart if we actually have to tear out some welds or not. So this is what an 18000 to probably $20,000 car will get you. A lot of rust, a lot of holes, and a lot of work. We need floor pans. Yabba dabba do mod. Make the Flintstones the Yep. But then, we knew this one had been hit, but at least on the front, we'll show you when we walk around the front of it, but when we got it back, they had so much mud that was taken out and body filler. When we sandblasted this, that it's worse than what we thought it would be. So, as of right now, you know, there's little some engine aprons that we got to replace that aren't someone didn't do a really good job welding these the hood prop hinges locations um, battery tray bullet hole that's actually where they put grease zerks sometimes oh so they can grease the, the upper control arm it's kind of a retro thing but so here's the accident that we knew when it first came in so it crumpled this whole kick panel um, even all the way down to the rocker panel Shed a little bit of light. Shed a little light on the situation, shall we? Yeah, so it's 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 seen better days, to be honest. Pretty much any better days. Like, any day was a better day. But yeah. what it looks like. Oh, let's get to my favorite part. <laughs> so, they were so good at body work, we had no idea there was almost an inch of body filler on this rocker panel. It is insane what they did to this thing. To put it back together with patches that are screwed in. I am honestly surprised this thing was actually on the road, but of course it hasn't been on the road for at least 17 to 20 years because the customer said that people he got it from didn't do anything with it, just sat in the field for 17 this year. So I'm mad, I'm impressed. Like sculpting an what? entire rocker out of body fill. That is insane. <laughs> <laughs> it's like frosting a cake. And then when we got it back from blasting, we knew this quarter panel was a little, little, uh, little rough. If you want to come down here and join me into the wheel well. This hole <laughs> was this. not there when it went to blasting and now it's here. There was 
body filler, as you can see right here, that was all the way over here. This whole frame rail has been bent, hit, pushed in and upwards, so this car is not straight in the back anymore. So to fix all of this, we're gonna have to do a frame jig and put it on there so we know we get everything straight. It is just insane what this thing has gone through. Fun continues in the back. Look at that, yeah. I forgot about the hole that right there. Yeah. Yep. So the wheel well, it looks like they just tried to beat it out. Same thing with this drop down and everything. It's all crumpled and rusted out, but that's not the biggest issue that's on this thing. Hello, foot. Foot, hello. Hey, you watching the video. If you like it, like and subscribe. <laughs> so this is honestly, nowadays, this is what 18 even a $25,000 range would get you. And it's still, to replace everything on this thing and get it right, you're gonna be, if you're looking for a shop to do things, you're probably gonna be in the fifteen dollars to $20,000 range. That includes parts and labor. It could be even more than that once you start digging into things. So, uh, now that we've taken a look at 18, th now I know you'll, you guys are gonna jump all over us in the comments and be like, oh, I can find these fast packs for way cheaper. Wonderful, you should be buying them because this is a very, very common, at least where we're at, and we've talked to people all over the country um, and even all over the world about these vehicles and it's really common to have cars in this type of condition at this price point. So if you find a mint condition fastback for 25,000. Let us know and we'll buy it. We'll buy it or you should jump off of our YouTube channel and go buy it right now. So. When we're looking at something like this, let's say, for example, that our fastback costs $15,000, okay? So I'll even give a little bit of a discount, okay? So $15,000 for a... <laughs> we're back. New so... And, new and improved <laughs> location. Oh, man. I'm glad we're good at our job. Yeah. Uh, so $15,000 for a Venn matching fastback, okay? Now, granted, this is going to have a higher resale uh, uh, value, but if you're just looking for a fastback, let's do some quick math. This one is going to need at least fifteen dollars to $20,000 worth of work, and that's just in metal work, okay? We're not looking at the interior drivetrain or anything else like that. We're talking metal work to have a shop do it. Now, if you're doing it yourself, probably knock maybe five, 10 grand off of that, um, but it's gonna take you a significant amount of time. So already into this, without a drivetrain or interior, we're into this $30,000 for a clean, uh, new metal fastback. No paint job, nothing else. Now you could find roller rolling fastbacks for around 30, 35,000 that have new metal, etc. okay? Let's take a look at a coupe to fastback conversion for a second. We have a coupe we can get for, I would say, four to $5,000. Pretty reasonable, in good condition. We'll do a follow-up video. Also, actually, Scott Harness did a video on what you should look for uh, in coupes, so check it out. At, uh, I believe his channel name is just Scott Harness, like a wiring harness. Check it out, he goes over what to look for in a coupe. We look for solid metal coupes, uh, uh, so you know, no damage to the rockers, no damage to the floor, etc. There's nothing rust free out there, but you know, as close as you can get. We charge for a 67 to, to 68, depending, now keep in mind when you're watching this video, it might be months from now, metal keeps going up and up and up, uh, but we charge about $10,000 uh, for a coupe to fastback conversion. So you can get a solid rolling uh, fastback for about $15,000 at the same point in your project as a $30,000 actual fastback. Now, we do this because the majority of the time people don't have the funds to throw, you know, $30,000 into just a roller. Um, the resale value, I mean, if we did this, we actually did this with a coupe not too long ago, Thelma. If you go back and watch a couple of our videos, we ended up selling Thelma for, uh, you know, twenty over twenty thousand dollars, and it was a roller coupe to fastback conversion. Um, so there's already equity in here. Um, 
not much equity in a fastback once you get it to this point you're spending you know thirty thousand dollars point here is this uh, the resale value of an actual fastback is going to be higher however coop to fastbacks are still real real reasonable options for you um, if the VIN number isn't as important to you. You don't have to change over the VIN number. Uh, you don't have to do anything crazy like that. It's still going to be titled as a, as a coupe, but you'll have a running fastback. Also, coupes are a dime a dozen right now. You can find them everywhere and in relatively rust-free condition. Whereas if you were to go on eBay and, uh, uh, you know, if you were to go on Craigslist or, you know, in our neck of the woods is KSL, Finding these fastbacks is few and far between, and if you do find them, um, they're hella expensive. So if you're looking for a fastback and you're having a really, really hard time finding them, A, B, finding them in decent condition, uh, C, finding them in decent condition at a decent price, you're not alone. A lot of people are going to it. Uh, you know, they're, they're going through it. What we wanted to show you is realistically what a fifteen dollars to $20,000 fastback looks like these days after it's sandblasted um and we were planning on doing this video you know for a while but we had to wait to get it uh, back from the sandblaster now we have to go through and order all the parts for it and we have to you know get a uh you know create a frame jig etc ton of work needs to be done on this it's going to be beautiful it's going to be worth a ton of money after it's done uh, but if you're kind of the average joe out there yeah. that has a coupe sitting around uh you know a 67 68 uh, or even a 64, 65, it's a little bit more expensive, um, but it's reasonable for you to be able to get a fastback for under $30,000, way under $30,000, that looks exactly like a fastback. It's actual fastback metal. Yep. Um, you know, it's the exact same thing, essentially. If you are a VIN number aficionado, um, this direction's obviously not for you. Um, but you know, if you have questions, feel free to ask anyone that's been in the industry, go on your forums and, uh, you know, go on Facebook, et cetera. And you're going to get a lot of, a lot of angry people and you're going to get a lot of really, really, uh, intelligent people that can give you facts and figures. We are in the industry. We've, mm -hmm. uh, done a bunch of these conversions. Now we've seen a bunch of the fastbacks. We talk to people that have farms of fastbacks and, and Mustangs, et cetera. Everybody pretty much says the the same thing that actually knows what they're talking about. If you have questions, feel free to reach out on Instagram or Facebook or leave a comment here on YouTube. Make sure you comment and subscribe uh, for this future build as well as we've got some other stuff going on right here. Let me flip the camera. So we've got a couple of other uh, uh, conversions going on right now. we got a S code that's about to get uh, painted. Um, we have a couple of other projects that are coming in. We got some good stuff. Good stuff coming in. So feel free to hit us up. Uh, we have some new shirts coming out pretty soon. They're going to be pretty funny. Maybe I'll put a little picture of them, like right, <laughs> right here no. or something like that. Right, right here. Right. Vogue. Other than that, do what you love. Don't be a dick. Because we we do what we love. We do. Do. <laughs> you said do do. What we love. <laughs> Stay classy, everybody. Peace. Later.